Here's the big picture of our VM language. In the previous module, we dealt with arithmetic uh, logical commands and with uh, memory segment commands. And now we uh, are beginning to deal with branching commands. So branching is actually a relatively uh, easy concept to uh, comprehend. Uh, so far, you know, without branching, our program was completely linear. Uh, every command executed uh, uh, after the previous one. But with branching, we can introduce all sorts of uh, uh, nonlinear uh, path in the uh, flow of control of the program. So the program can you know, progress uh, uh, linearly, and then all of a sudden there's a go-to, and we continue the program from some other instruction, and the go-tos can go forward, they can go backward. Uh, if we go both forward and backward, we can implement loops. So uh, this branching gives me a lot of uh, uh, flexibility. So every one of you who used uh, if statements or uh, while statements has uh, experienced the notion of branching without uh, maybe call it, uh, without using the word uh, branching. So uh, at the low level, we have two kinds of uh, branching. We have uh, what we call unconditional branching and conditional branching. So we'll spend a few minutes uh, talking about each one of these uh, uh, flavors of, of branching, and we'll start with an example. So here's an example of uh, a high level uh, function that uh, computes the multiplication or the product of two given values, x and y. And it computes it using repetitive addition. So uh, we take x, we put it into some uh, 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 container, which we call a sum, and uh, then we increment sum with x uh, y times. And in order to count y times, we use uh, uh, yet another variable called n, which uh, starts with 1. And uh, uh, you, can, you can read the code and, uh, and understand it. It's, uh, it's uh, rather trivial. Mm -hmm. I should point out, though, that this implementation of uh, multiplication is uh, very naive and very inefficient. Uh, later on, we will show uh, a dramatically uh, 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 more efficient uh, multiplication of uh, uh, implementation of uh, multiply. All right, so this is our mult function. And uh, we have this uh, while loop here. And once we compile this uh, high level code into VM code, the VM, uh, I'm sorry, the compiler will generate the code that you see on the right hand side. So you see that what the compiler is doing is it's taking this uh, while uh, loop and rewrites it using go to commands. And in order to uh, achieve this uh, uh, rewriting, uh, the compiler also has to invent uh, and generate some labels and insert the labels you know, in the right places. So one label goes where the while was, and another label goes you know, uh, where the while ends. And, uh, and the compiler has all this uh, knowledge of how to do it. Now, once again, as I said in the previous uh, uh, unit, you don't have to worry at this point uh, uh, how the compiler actually achieves this uh, magic, because we are going to deal with it extensively later on in the course. So all I want to do is focus on the VM code and see you know, uh, uh, how these uh, go-to commands uh, are being used. I, didn't I don't even have to tell you all this story about uh, the high-level function, uh, but I do it because you know, I want you to understand the context of uh, where these uh, uh, weird uh, VM uh, commands come from. They come from compilation. So uh, let's uh, focus on the goto uh, command. We see an example. We have several examples of goto in this code, so I'm just uh, highlighting uh, one of them. And the syntax is trivial, right? You say go to label, and uh, you expect the computer to uh, jump to execute uh, the uh, command uh, uh, just after label uh, in the code. So if you say go to loop, uh, the next command that will be executed is, let me see, push n would be the next command, because that's the command just after uh, the label loop. 
All right, moving along, what about uh, conditional branching? Conditional branching is more interesting because it depends on evaluating the truth value of some condition. So if you go back to the high-level code, we see that we had a condition there. The condition was as long as it is not true that n is greater than y, do this and that, right? So what we have here is the command if go to uh, end loop. That's what the uh, compiler uh, has generated. And notice that whenever we wish to use a conditional go to command, we must first push onto the stack a certain condition or a certain expression that describes a condition. Uh, and this uh, expression will have to be evaluated before the conditional go to, because otherwise, we will not know whether or not the condition is uh, satisfied. So um, once again, the rules of the game are that you push the expression, and then when the program runs, uh, this expression will end up uh, uh, being evaluated, and uh, a certain truth value will remain on the stack. And then based on this uh, truth value, uh, the if go to command will know whether or not uh, a jump has to uh, actually uh, uh, materialize. And uh, we see that in this particular example, if you look at the high-level code, uh, the condition is uh, n greater than y. And indeed, when you look at the uh, generated code, we see that uh, we have a push n, push y, gt, just before the uh, if go to command, and these three VM commands taken together implement in the VM uh, language the same logic as n greater than y. So once uh, the computer will evaluate push n, push y, gt, it will get the truth value that will determine if uh, a conditional jump should actually materialize. All right, so uh, to recap, we have three uh, branching commands, go to, if go to, and label, you know, without which we, we could not generate all these uh, labels. And the implementation of these commands is such that when, when, when the, the VM translator will, uh, uh, will be asked to implement these commands or to realize them, it will have to generate assembly code that affects the same go-to operations in assembly. Now, I assume that you, know, you went through the trouble of uh, reviewing assembly language as we requested in, uh, in uh, module zero of the course. And if you did that, you should know that the implementation uh, uh, should be extremely simple. Because the assembly language also has um, uh, go-to commands whose flavor and style of execution is almost the same as uh, the go-to commands of the VM language. And therefore, the translation in this case of uh, VM branching commands to uh, branching in assembly is uh, a rather simple exercise. And we expect you to do it on your own. All right, so without uh, further ado, we've dealt with uh, uh, these uh, commands in the previous module. We've dealt with, this command, with these commands in the current unit, and we are ready uh, to tackle the function commands, which are the real essence uh, of this uh, module. So that's what we'll do uh, starting with the next unit.